First at 530 tonight, we are uncovering new information about a Rhode Island man charged with violating the state's social host law. Eyewitness News has learned the suspect is a doctor with ties to a well-known local medical school. It's our top local story tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Lands is live in the newsroom now with the details. Jen and Mike Barrington detectives told me that they told them that he's currently working at University Emergency Medicine, which is an affiliation of Brown University. Exactly one week after Barrington police shut down a party located down a long driveway on Bullock Avenue, Eyewitness News has uncovered even more information about the father accused of hosting an underage drinking party. We learned that 57-year-old Bruce Becker was arrested and released on July 30th, but while he was at the police station, police say Becker told them he works at University Emergency Medicine in Providence. Its website says it's affiliated with the Albert Medical School of Brown University and also with Lifespan. Although Becker is not employed by Rhode Island Hospital, officials there confirm he is currently an attending physician. I called Brown University for more information about Becker's connection, but never heard back. And there was no answer today at his Barrington home. Becker has been charged with violating the state's social host law, a statute Chief John LaCrosse has been backing for years. It's concerning to me as the chief because, uh, you know, we don't want to repeat mistakes that we can prevent. The police report revealed that 30 teens were seen running all over the property once officers arrived. An underage girl was arrested after police say she was spotted carrying alcohol. If convicted, a first-time violator of the social host law could be fined anywhere between $350 and $1,000 and sentenced to up to six months in jail. A serious crime to Chief LaCrosse. This year alone, we've had in the last three months several uh, underage drink, drinking parties and kids who were uh, receiving alcohol poisoning. And Becker is expected to appear in district court tomorrow for his arraignment. Reporting live in the newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.